Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to make use of Cursor IDE for Salesforce development. If you are a Salesforce developer, admin, architect or a DevOps engineer and then if you wanted to retrieve, uh, push it to your uh, um, backup repository and then if you have any other use cases and then if you want uh, if you and then if you wanted to make use of cursor IDE then you can make use of this video as a reference the first step is uh, we have to download and install the cursor IDE so go to this website you should be able to download uh, the cursor IDE uh, please check the video description in the video description, I have shared my blog post. From the blog post, you should be able to get all these uh, <clears throat> referenced uh, URLs. Next, uh, we have to install the extensions in the cursor ID. It is very similar to VS Code extensions uh, uh, in installation. So go to your cursor application, select view, and then select extensions. Search for uh, Salesforce extension pack, and then you should be able to install it. Once it is installed, go to developer.salesforce.com slash tools slash sfdxcli. From here, you should be able to get the Salesforce uh, CLI uh, uh, application and then install it. Once uh, uh, IDE is installed, extension on the IDE is also installed. And uh, after Salesforce CLI extension, we have to create a Salesforce project. This is also very similar to the VS Code uh, commands if you are a uh, uh, fevs code uh, uh, user then uh, these uh, things would be very easy uh, so we have to use a control shift p or command shift p if you are using mac os and then we have to select uh, create project with manifest if you wanted to just create a project without a manifest then you can use sfdx uh, create a uh, project um, the manifest will give us a sample package.xml which will be very helpful to retrieve uh, uh, the metadata from our Salesforce org. Uh, you can make use of this uh, how to create a Salesforce project in VS Code as a reference because all the commands uh, and all the setup and everything uh, on the VS Code is very uh, is very close to um, cursor ID setup. So you can definitely make use of this link as your reference. So here <coughs> we, you have to select uh, command shift p i am a mac user so and then you should be able to search for all salesforce uh, dx commands you can create an org you can authorize an org you can create an apex class you can create a, a lightning web component all these things can be done from cursor id one more big advantage i have seen with cursor id is you can make use of this uh, a assistant so here i'm going to ask please check this class for best practices. So this is a sample Apex class, which I have created. Uh, it is a custom REST API class, which is exposed as a REST API so that uh, my external applications can you may make use of it. So if I ask uh, for best practices, it will read the class. It will understand how I have developed and then it will help us uh, uh, with uh, recommendations. For all my Salesforce development work, I make use of it. I get uh, good recommendations and uh, uh, best practices so that my code will run for a very long time without any issues. I strongly recommend uh, you to set up a, a cursor ID for Salesforce development and uh, make use of the AA assistant tool. As I shared earlier, my blog post is available in the video description. You can make use of it as your reference. I hope it was helpful. Thank you for watching.